Prince William snubs Meg's phone call to attend the BAFTA Awards solo with him. You're not invited. Sussex is banned by BAFTA. William puts security on alert as Harry and Meghan set to gatecrash the event. Meghan Markle has been left out in the cold by Prince William, who refused to let her attend the BAFTA Film Awards with him, as his wife, Princess Catherine, is recovering from abdominal surgery. However, according to insiders, Meghan has asked Prince William, president of the BAFTAs, to allow her to accompany him to the awards ceremony in London on Sunday as a token of honor, only goodwill and conciliation from the royal family. After she and her husband, Prince Harry, were with the royal patronages and titles, and they lost it in 2020, Meghan stated that she wanted to show her support and appreciation for the film industry that she was part of before marrying Prince Harry, and that she wanted to celebrate these achievements and stories of nominees and winners, especially those who worked with her and Harry on their Netflix and Spotify projects. However, Prince William, second in line to the throne and future king, refused. Meghan's request citing lack of space and health regulations at the Royal Hall where the award ceremony was held. Prince William also told Meghan that he wanted to focus on his role as BAF the president and that he wanted to honor the wishes of his wife, Princess Catherine, who had asked him to attend the award ceremony alone, and she continues to recover from her stomach ache and surgery. Prince William also told Meghan that he did not think it was appropriate or necessary for her to attend the awards as she was no longer a senior member of the royal family or even a UK resident and she has no connections or contributions to the British film industry. Prince William also said at Meghan and told her that he did not want to cause any distractions or controversy at the awards which celebrates the excellence and diversity of the film industry, and that he didn't want to make any impressions or any false hope for the public that the rift between him and his brother, Prince Harry, had been healed. This decision has met with, or rather was met with, mixed reactions from the public and the media. Some applauded Prince William for standing up to Meghan, who was accused of being arrogant and entitled, and expected special treatment from the royal family and the taxpayers who paid more than 334000 U.S. dollars for security costs during their previous visit to their country. The decision also sparked outrage and dismay from Meghan's supporters and fans who accused Prince William of being cruel, unfair, and negligent towards Meghan who claimed to be a victim, a victim of racism, bullying, and harassment from the British press and the royal establishment. The decision also sparked sympathy and admiration for Princess Catherine, who was praised for her loyalty and dedication to Prince William and the monarchy as well as her grace and dignity. Meghan and Harry are yet to comment on the decision, but sources close to them say that they are shocked, saddened, and angered by Prince William's move, and they feel betrayed and abandoned by their former brother-in-law. Sources also said that Meghan and Harry have no intention of abandoning their sponsorship or participation in the games, and they will continue to do so for their rights and freedoms. Sources say Meghan and Harry are devastated by the decision, which they see as a personal attack and a punishment for speaking the truth and living their lives. They've worked so hard to build their brand and platform, they won't let anyone take that away from them. They're proud of their patronage and their involvement in the games, and they will not bow to Prince William or the demands of the public. They are ready to take legal action if necessary, and they have the support of millions of people around the world who love them.